Tank and I are in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are heading up to Pennsylvania where it is freezing cold. So you're turning both hot water heater switches off. You take the anode rod, I think that's how you say it, out of the hot water tank to drain all that. You put that back in, and then you get an air compressor. This guy is really convenient. So it hooks up to your car. You just put the one side on where the blowout valve, where you attach that to your camper, and then you attach the air compressor to the blowout valve. And you open up, because this one doesn't have a lot of pressure, you open up each nozzle at a time inside. You do the kitchen sink, hot and cold, bathroom sink, hot and cold, and then you also do the toilet. You can't forget the toilet. <laughs> now, we are going to fill the fresh water tank with RV antifreeze, and we're gonna run those through the lines. A little trick so you don't have to fill the um, fresh water tank fully to get it going with the antifreeze. If you lift the front of your camper up, um, it'll put it down where the pump's at, at least for the casita. We're just gonna lift the front up and then we'll put the antifreeze in the back. So we ran into a bit of a thing. I forgot a funnel to put um, the antifreeze into the um, fresh water tank. So we're gonna try a plastic bag with the corner cut out. This might actually be working. After you turn on the fresh water, I wanna make sure that everything comes through the lines pink. 